All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So yesterday, Robert Sala did a uh, interview with CBS Sports. I believe it was uh, Tommy Tran who interviewed him. And by the way, I'll actually leave that interview linked uh, down below in the description box. So if you guys want to go check it out, I highly recommend it. I think it was like 10 minutes. Uh, they covered a lot of things. Zach Wilson, you know, the second year of the system, all that good stuff. But one thing that was super, super interesting uh, was the Mackay Becton uh, situation, right? It came up. It was, uh, you know, a great question asked. And I, I think he basically asked just what was the latest right what, what's the latest on Makai Becton when when does Sala envision uh, Becton coming back healthy and I uh, have his quote right here he said he's been really good over the last 40 days he's been in the building every day putting in work and to my understanding no restrictions with the knee and he goes on to say his weight is getting down and he looks really good okay now to me that's the perfect answer it is a great great sign just to hear robert sala just say that uh not add fuel to the fire i mean as we all know uh, and to be honest with you you know i i don't like making videos uh you know when a negative storyline pops up about makai becton you know it's just you know one of those things where it's like it's just we, we just got to see this guy out in the field unfortunately he missed the entire season last year we don't have that closure we don't have that clarity we just need to see him back because if he is out there and he is just you know, just a road grader like we all know he can be i mean he has showed that he can be an, an absolutely fantastic tackle. That's not a stretch to say. Uh, you could talk to Jets fans about it, you know, f uh, fans of other teams. Everybody can agree that Makai Becton's upside is insane, right? The size, the strength, the power, especially in the running game. I mean, man, this guy can be an absolute beast, but we all know this. But with that said, it's just been negative storyline after negative storyline. Oh, he's overweight. Oh, he might not uh, play on the Jets ever again. Uh, is he in shape? There's size concerns from the organization. It's just like, it, it's so much noise. It's so much drama. And I'm personally at the point where, I, let, let's just play football. Let's line up and play football. Unfortunately, we're not at that point just yet. Still have preseason and, and everything to, to you know, kind of go through here. Uh, and by the way, I, I do think it is relevant to mention that the Jets did put Beckton along with, uh, you know, Carl Lawson and a couple other players on the uh, physically unable to perform list, which was understandable. Everybody saw that coming uh, given what happened last year. So not a surprise there, and he could come off at any time. It's not like, you know, an IR situation where it's like an extended period of time and it's set in stone. No, he could come back at any point. Okay, so to hear specifically that his weight is getting down, he looks really good, he's been putting in work for the last 40 days, and there hasn't been any restrictions with the knee, that is an, that, that's the ultimate sign right there, ultimate sign of positivity. Okay, so uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm hoping there's no, no you know, speed bumps, no hiccups along the way. I'm hoping this guy's healthy because look, if Fant and Becton are out there, I feel really good about the tackle position. I'm going to say this though, okay, because I do think it's kind of, you know, when we're projecting in a preseason and just understanding uh, or taking into consideration all of the uh, injuries that the Jets have sustained over the past couple of seasons, even trickling into the, uh, the Gase era, if Becton if the Jets want to hold Becton out, and, and even George Fant for that matter, you know, another guy who's on the uh, the pup list, if those guys, let's just say, aren't there for the first preseason game, then I don't know how I'd feel about putting Zach Wilson out there just to be safe. It's just a preseason game, you know, maybe a preseason game or two, but I think if we're starting our third and fourth tackle, you know, in, in, you know in, with the first team in the preseason... Uh, I, I think I might, uh, given everything that's happened in the past, I don't know if I would agree with that. You know, maybe just a series, a series or two at most, and that's at the absolute most, okay? So I did want to just kind of add that point, you know, if one or both of these guys miss time in the preseason or they just want to hold them out out of caution, I don't know if it's the best idea to just roll out the starting quarterback. I know Zach Wilson needs experience. I know he needs the reps. I know he needs to build the chemistry. Uh, but again, I think one or two series max, if our starting tackles are, you know, a, a, a McDermott and maybe a Max Mitchell or Idoga or something like that, I don't want to take the risk. I mean, I don't, I, I, I can't even think about, you know, uh, 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 you know, a situation where Zach Wilson were to get hurt in preseason. I don't want to think about it. And um, it, it would just be a nightmare. So anyway, quick little video here. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Uh, to me, it's just totally positive. And uh, you can make, a, uh, make the argument here 
I actually had a buddy make the same argument, uh, like, right before I kicked off this video. You know, what else was he going to say in that situation? Was he going to throw him under the bus? Salah obviously knows, you know, the NY media at this point. 